welcome back guys uh today's video uh, i'm gonna do i'm gonna hook up my sounds uh i'm still at the shop i just replaced the ac line on the caprice uh it went bad if you want to check that video out go ahead and uh check it out but uh right now i'm gonna hook up the the sounds uh i had the wire disconnected for a while Right here, I taped it up so in case it touched ground or whatever, it wanna create sparks. Uh, I already went ahead and disconnected the negative. Always disconnect the negative. And also I disconnected the positive right here. Uh, they sell uh, adapters for the uh, for the terminals when you, when you hook up sounds. I have that adapter, but for some reason, when I hook it up to this battery, it doesn't make contact. Like, I don't know if it's too short or, uh, I won't say it's too short because it won't even get tight. So what I did, I kind of got a regular bolt right here and I put a nut. So I'm going to run the, the bolt through it. But before that, I'm going to attach it to here. I'll show you guys how I'm doing it. But uh, that's how I'm, I'm able to hook up, you know, for my sounds and stuff. So I've been want uh, I've been wanting uh, to hook up my sounds for a while. So I say, you know what? I'm still at I'm still at work. Like I said, I just replaced the AC line. If you want to go check that video out, go ahead and check it out. Uh, but this is uh, I'm gonna hook up the my sounds, and I also got a, an amplifier that I want to hook up to it. Uh, it already has an amplifier, but I want to put a, a, a bigger one, a bigger, a more like more wattage. Because um, the amp that's on this car right now, that's on Blue Beauty, I'm going to hook up that amp on, uh, on, my, on my car, the 9th Gen uh, SI. And then uh, the one that's on the 9th Gen SI, I'm going to hook that up and put it on my wife's truck so she can have a little bit of bass, you know, when she's listening to her music. But yeah, guys, let me uh, set you guys down. Let me find a, a good spot for you guys. Maybe in the same location I got, I had you guys for the, when I was doing the AC line. Uh, what, there or... Maybe here, maybe not. Now you can you can barely see. Uh, is that a good spot? Yeah, that's a good spot. I think. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So like I said, I got the ground disconnected because I don't want to touch a uh, ground and create sparks. So let me uh, take this tape off. Let me sand this down a little bit. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. They say copper is the best uh, conductor for electricity. So I'm sanding it down just a bit so it can make nice, good contact. You guys can see. I think that should be good guys got that little you know what give me one second we're gonna make it better
still here, guys. I'm still here. It's gonna be a little bit loud because I'm gonna sand it down better. So just bear with me. It's gonna be a little loud because of the air, air grinder. There we go. See? Much better. Much better, guys. Much better. So what I'm going to do, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to attach, I'm going to put this through here. Uh, run it this way. Attach the, the nut. I'm gonna leave it, a, leave it a little bit loose. So when I put it back into the positive terminal. So it's gonna look like this, guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's gonna look like that. But hold on one second, I ran into a problem that the, that the nut is too, is too far in. So what I'm gonna have to do is probably trim. I'm gonna trim these, uh, this piece, this piece right here. I'm gonna trim this so it could be nice and flat. So I'm able to, uh, to hook up the sound. So I'll cut you guys back on. I apologize, so bear with me. Welcome back guys. So what I end up doing, I took off uh, the red piece that was wrapping around the terminal. So I cut it off into small pieces because uh, I was having, a, like I said earlier in the video, I was having problems trying to tie the, I was gonna have a problem tying the nut, but uh, I cut the pieces off. So that's to the side. So now we're hooking it up to the, to the battery. Making sure the ground is not touching. So. doing right now I'm uh, loose, loosening the nut at the same time Sorry guys, I uh, ended a video uh, without notification. I was I ran into a problem, so that's why I was getting a little frustrated. So the problem I ran into is that uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I used to have this bolt and uh, this nut, and then on my... Uh, and the battery terminal, the positive one that goes to the starter, 
um, it used to be just the, the bolt and the nut. But for some reason, I took off, like I said earlier, I took off that red piece that was wrapping around this. And then the um, the bolt wouldn't go all the way in. And the, the thing was, the positive for the amplifier was all loose. So I'm like, man, what's going on? So what I end up doing, I end up do, putting uh, two washers, one right here and then another one over here. Now it's it's tight, solid. The terminal doesn't wiggle. The actual terminal terminal doesn't wiggle. So I'm just gonna hook up the uh, the negative right now. Yeah, I was getting a little frustrated, and I didn't want to. I didn't want you guys to see. So I already got the, the negative right here, making sure it's going in without no problem. Yeah, for so like I said, for some reason they do sell the terminal. But on this battery, I don't know because I I take it I take it out a bunch of times when like uh, in the winter time when the car is getting put away, I take the battery out. So I don't know if it got worn out or whatsoever that it just didn't want to go back in. But it's in there, guys. Uh, let me go turn it on. quick make sure that uh let me open the trunk first first let's make sure the amp is coming on and all that stuff see there's the amp right there guys i'm gonna change it all right let me go make sure is lower don't want to get copyright this cable guys i know if you watch my uh when i install the radio this cable i know it says for the car plate but this is just to charge the phone but it does wireless car plate without no wire and stuff so let me make sure the volume is low mm -hmm. I'm listening to some oldies. It's on. I'll cut you guys. I cut you guys back on. Let me see what's going on. Uh, welcome back, guys. So, uh, I'm on. Uh, before I figure out the amp, st the amp or the wire stuff, I'm gonna hook up my uh, center console that I took out. Uh, I wouldn't say maybe last year I took it off. So I want to. I'm gonna put it back on. I want to show it to you guys. Here's the speakers. They're uh, Memphis audio speakers. Right here. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be installing my uh, 
the center console back. Got some cup holders too with a USB charge port. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, the wire and all that stuff, I'm going to figure out right now. So... I want to show you guys that I'm putting I'm putting back the the center console back. So welcome back, guys. I uh, installed the center console. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this for now because I got the cover here. Uh, but the thing is that I can't find the other cover for the other side, so basically they just go like this. But uh, for some reason, when I took it off, I don't know what I did with the other cover for the other side or either side. Uh, so I'm going to have to look for it. If not, I'll just probably find some on eBay or something for uh, six and a half uh, speaker covers. You know, Memphis Audio. Uh, just so it could look decent, you know. Uh, but yes, guys, the center console was installed. As you can see right here. Uh, like I said earlier, you got your cup holders, your USB port, and uh, it, the guy who had it before me had like had this probably made, but uh, I don't know what this uh, sticky stuff is. So I'm probably gonna take it off. I'm gonna take it off right now, actually. Uh, and what I want to do, either uh, I was telling my wife, either probably put a small iPad. Or probably get like uh, the, like the Chevy Caprice logo with uh, my uh, Instagram name and my uh, YouTube channel, Life with Chancho, uh, or something engraved. You know, like the name of the car. Her name is uh, Blue Beauty. You know. So yeah, but guys, the center console is installed. There's the other side speaker. Like I said, I don't have the covers, but and uh, the radio, I figured out the radio, guys. Well, the subwoofer, why I wasn't working. Because um, I tried uh, I tried a different amp. and it Because at first I thought it was the amp, but it was not the amp. It was um, a wire. So when, when I installed the radio, I made a video about that as well. If you, if you guys want to go check it out. So when I install the radio, uh, the power antenna wire, the blue one, I hooked it up to my uh, remote wire, and uh, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me cut the wire off, and let me attach it to the fuse, the radio fuse. So I attached it to the fuse of the car right here. I don't know if you guys can see it pretty good or not. Uh, right there, guys, is a 10 amp fuse, and it's, uh, it says radio on it. Uh, so I pull the fuse out, and I peel the wire, and I just wrapped it around one of the fuse prongs and pushed it back in. And I turned uh, the key on, and the music came on, and the subwoofer started to uh, to work. And I'm like, oh, crap. So it was that wire for the power antenna slash remote. So this one right here, guys, the remote. Um, but I'm a, I'm a, and I, here's my subwoofer, my kicker. Uh, so the amp, I'm a, I think I'm going to keep this amp, you know, maybe put another uh, subwoofer at, at the opposite end, you know, so two on each side. Um. But I have another amp, uh, Rockford Fosgate, that I bought like a few years ago. Man, I don't know. I've, I've been having that amp for like a long time. And uh, me and my wife bought it. And I kid you not, we bought it at Best Buy. I kid you not, guys, I probably paid maybe like five, six hundred dollars for this amp. And it did the job, it still does the job. But that amp, the Rockford Fosgate, I'm gonna install my uh, ninth gen Honda Civic Si, because that one has two subwoofers. It has a factory subwoofer, which I took out because that 
the factory subwoofer is garbage and I replaced it with the same size an eight inch uh, kicker, 600 watt. And then I slapped a uh, single 12 on a speaker box just like this. Just like this, but a, a single 12. Slap that on, so I'm gonna put that amp on that car. And the amp that the uh, Civic has right now, I'm gonna put that on my wife's Jeep right there. So I'm gonna put that on. Uh, so, but yeah, guys, I, I figured it out. They, I'm happy. Blue Beauty's gonna be banging on the streets. Probably uh, it's gonna piss off my neighbors, which I really don't care. Uh, it's gonna be rattling. That's what I want. I want her to sound pretty good. And now that I put my uh, center console speakers and all that stuff, it's gonna sound even better, more crispier sound. Uh, but yes, guys, it's, it's a work in progress. It's my first box Chevy. I Like I, uh, I mentioned a few videos ago, maybe a couple of them I mentioned already. I got the, the emblems, the hood emblem, the quarter panel emblem, and the trunk emblem. I'm going to change those. I'll probably change those on the next video. Show you guys the car. I love this car. You know, like I said on a few... Like you guys can see, the paint job is not perfect. Whoever painted this car, they did a very, very uh, sloppy job. You know, and I don't blame the the person that I bought it from at all. You know, I saw it myself when I was buying it, and I just love the car. You know, I love the color. The color just captivated me and my wife when we saw it pull up to the the parking lot when we were buying it. But uh, it just, like I said, it captivated us. Um, we fell in love with it. The moment we saw it, we said the car's coming home with us. You know, we just got to make sure that uh, everything is good underneath, that uh, there's no holes on the floor or, you know, be doing the flint, uh, Flintstone style, you know. You know, I, I don't know why I did that, but uh, yes, but... Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, uh, turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, like I said uh, a few seconds or a minute ago, I got more stuff that I'm going to do to it. Uh, I wanted to get the sounds, I wanted to, so when I drive it, you know, Blue Beauty is going to be hitting, rattling that trunk. It's going to be hitting the streets, you know, with some nice music going on. Uh, I, I will show you. I will show you guys how it sounds, but I don't want to get copyrighted. But I might get copyrighted because there was like some a little bit of a old school music being played when I when I was at work. I'm on home already. Uh, but yes, guys, stay tuned to the channel. Chancho's out. Peace.